Hello, many thanks for joining us. This is Television Nigerian PM News. I am Priscilla Iwurm. The Court of Appeal in Abuja has sacked the senator representing Kogi West in Kogi State, Dino Milaye of the People's Democratic Party. The judgment delivered by the chairman of the Tribunal Justice, A.O. Chijoke, ordered that INEC should conduct a fresh election for the district within 90 days. The judgment was on the petition filed by Smart Adeyemi, the candidate of the All Progressives Congress, in the February 26th election. The National Open University of Nigeria now has said repentant members of the insurgent group Boko Haram have decided to enroll for degree programs in the institution. The council chairman of the institution, Peter Okebukola, disclosed this during a press conference in Abuja on Thursday. The most recent report from this center indicated two repentant members of the insurgent group Boko Haram have decided to enroll for now degree Degree programs taking advantage of the free facilities provided up to PhD. OK Bukola also said there is an increase in enrollment of inmates in correctional centers. The institution also said 53% of its students are females, while 47% are male. Vice President Yemi Oshibajo and Chairman of the Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption, Professor Ise Sage, have enjoined Nigerians to participate fully in the fight against corruption for the overall good of the country. The duo observed that the federal government cannot succeed in the anti-graft war without the collaboration of the masses. They both spoke at the public launch of an anti-corruption AP Pino flag it by the Aki Fadei Foundation in collaboration with the Federal Road Safety Commission at the Musa Yardwa Center, Abuja. The vice president, represented by the special advisor to the president and rule of law office of the vice president Fatima Waziri Azi, noted that there should be robust partnership between the state and the society for the war against corruption to be won. The Minister of Labor and Employment, Dr. Chris Ingige, said the federal government is yet to commence total implementation of the new national minimum wage of 30,000 naira to all categories of workers because organized labor mistakenly saw consequential adjustment in salary as total salary review. Ingige spoke on Thursday when the Director General of the Nigeria Employers Consultative Association, Timothy Olawale led a delegation from the association to the minister's office in Abuja. Also at the event was the Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Festus Kiyamo San. This is coming a few days before negotiation begins again between the federal government and organized labor after labor issued a notice that strike could be imminent if the federal government failed to accept his demands on the consequential adjustment in workers' salaries as a result of the new minimum wage on October 16, 2019. According to Ingege, the federal government had set up a committee that would prepare the ground for total salary review, which would be done in 2020, adding that the federal government's personal budget had risen astronomically from 1.88 trillion naira to 3.08 trillion naira between 2016 and 2020. The wife of Ekiti State Governor B.C. Fayemi has stressed the need to strengthen the state's gender-based violence prohibition law to ensure punishment for violators. The governor's wife, who spoke on Thursday during the public hearing of the GVB Amendment Bill and at Ekiti State House Assembly at Doikiti, lamented she said violent against women keeps increasing in Ekiti. She appealed to the House to pass this law expeditiously. The State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Wale Fakpohunda, said the amendment to the bill might include medical castration, compulsory psychiatric test, and disqualification of offenders 
from benefiting from government social investment programs. Fayemi's wife said the amendment became imperative to give the victims voices and for offenders to be held accountable, saying the best form of injustice in any society is for offenders to be let off the hook without justifiable reasons. The wife of the former founder of African investigative digital media state site, Sahara reporters Okpayami Sonwari, has lamented that her husband remains detained in Nigeria on charges including treason. Moyele Sonwari, who creates an aggregate new content, social media tips, and self-digital reporting tools exposing corruption in Africa and his home country, Nigeria. After being jailed and beaten several times for his journalistic work in Nigeria, Shawole relocated to New York City and formed Sahara Reporters in Manhattan in 2006 to report under U.S. legal protections. Several outlets, including Reuters, reported his arrest. In August 2019, according to Opeya Mishawari, who lives in New Jersey, her husband was detained in Lagos on August 4th while at a protest. He was then transferred to Nigeria's capital, Abuja. After several hearings, he is still being held in Abuja, his wife stated. And that's all in the PM News. Many thanks for watching. I am Priscilla Iwurum. Just stay tuned for the 8 PM News.